Hello, everyone. Today we are going to do a package resolve with CCNA3 version 7, 5.4.12. Package reserve configure extended ACLS scenario 1. This is addressing table. Objectives. Part 1 configure, apply, and verify and extended numbered XCL. Part 2 configure, apply, and verify and extended and named ACL. Background scenario. Two employees need access to services provided by the server. PC1 only needs FTP access, while PC2 only needs web access. Both computers need to be able to ping the server, but not each other. So two employees, PC1, PC2, and the PC1 only permit FTP to server, your server, and PC2 need web access to server. Okay, PC1 is FTP access to server. PC2 is web access to server. Okay, instruction part one, configure, apply, and verify a, and extend it numbered ACL. Step one, configure ACL to permit FTP and ICMP from PC1 to LAN. FTP and ICMP from one, PC1 to server. Okay, so from global configuration mode on R1, enter the following command to determine the first valid number for an extended access list. First valid number. Let's go to R1. Enable. Configure access, configure terminal. Okay, access list space question mark. Here is a one to 99 is IP standard access list. 100 to 199 is IP extended access list. So here the first valid number for extended access list is 100. The 100 is the first valid number. All right, so let's add 100 here. So add 100 here, we did it. The space and question mark. So now we, here there are deny, permit, or remark. So in this case, we uh, permit FTP traffic. So we need to enter permit, permit, okay. Then space question mark. So there are more options come out. Okay, so when configured and applied, this ACL should be permit FTP and ICMP. FTP and ICMP. But ICMP is listed up here. But FTP is not, is not listed here yet. This is because FTP is an application layer protocol that uses TCP as a transport layer. So we need to enter TCP. We need to enter TCP to further refine the ACL help. All right, so the permit to TCP, we choose TCP, TCP, and space question mark. All right, so next we need to figure out the source address. Here's the source address, any, so the source address, can represent a single device like a PC1 by enter the host, enter the host keyword, and then the IP address of PC1. Using the keyword any, here's the any, is um, permit any host on any network. The filtering can also be done by a network address. In this case, it is that is it is any host that has an ad address belonging to the network here, 192, 172, 22, 34, 64 is here, this network. So it's any host on this network. Okay, so here we need to permit this 
the source the network address. Here's the network address. Okay. Copy paste. Okay, space question mark. The next we need to put to the wildcard bits or the wildcard mask of this network. This network. This network subnet mask is a slash 27. So here, calc let's do the calculation of wildcard mask. Slash 27 subnet mask, subnet mask is this one. 255.255.255.224. That is a subnet mask of a slash 27 network. So the wildcard mask is this, which is uh, subtract the subnet mask from 255.255.255.255. So 255 minus 224 is 31. All right, so now we put uh, the wildcard mask 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 31. Okay, space, question mark. So there are more options come out. The source, the source address we figure out. So next we need to figure out the destination address. So in this scenario, we are filtering traffic for a single destination, which is the server. So the server is the destination address, is a single host. So enter the keyword host, host, the, the IP address of the server is this one. Okay, this is a host, host address, 6234, So here is the IP address of server, then space, question mark. All right, so destination address, we figure out. So the next, next. Yeah, we look at here, notice that one of the options is CR, this one, CR. That is a carriage return. In other words, you can press any, uh, you can press enter and the statement sh would permit all the TCP traffic. Here's the TCP traffic. But, but in this, in this case, we only, we only permit the FTP traffic. So we need to enter EQ here, EQ, equal, EQ. And question mark, space question mark. All right, so finally the FTP protocol come out. All right, that is what we need. FTP is uh, the port keyword, and then the number is 21, okay. So we need to EQ FTP. So the first statement is down for this ACL. Let's create a, a second access list statement to, to permit ICMP ping traffic from PC1 to server. Note that the access list number remains the same and a specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. Okay, let's go. Okay, access list 100, keep it the same. Still permit ICMP. Okay, ICMP the same. The PC1 LAN. to the host server, okay, so here. All right. The permit ICMP from PC1 LAN to the server, all right. 
So all other traffic is denied by default. So now execute a show access list to command and verify that access list 100 contains the correct statements. Notice that the statement deny any any does not appear at the end of the access list. The default execution of an access list is that if a packet does not match a statement in the access list, it is not permitted through the interface. Let's do the show command. So show access lists are right here. It's a number, number 100. Access mm -hmm. 10, the two statements we configured. One is the 10 and 20 are the sequence number. Each one represents a, a statement. 10 permit TCP, the PC1 LAN to the host for the FTP traffic. Second is ICMP, permit ICMP from PC1 LAN to the, to the server. All right, so there's a difference here. The TCP, if we, cho if we choose the TCP as a protocol, we need to specify, um, we need to specify which type of TCP uh, traffic we need to, uh, we, uh, we are filtering. But uh, ICMP, we don't need to specify this uh, specific uh, traffic, which type of ICMP traffic uh, uh, we are filtering. So that's why there's uh, the first uh, TCP, you have to specify the eco FTP, the ICMP, you don't need to do that. All right, so step two, apply the ACL on the correct interface to filter traffic from R1's perspective. It's, uh, from R1's perspective, the traffic that uh, ACL 100 applied to is inbound from the network connected to the GB Ethernet 00 interface. Here's 00, zero interface. So entering interface configuration mode and apply the SL. Yeah, the track traffic is permitted PC1 to server. So this is the direction PC1 is a source. Server is a destination, so go like this way. So the interface G000 is inbound. So inbound interface. Okay, so terminal interface G00, the axis group 100 in is inbound. Okay. So verify the SL implementation ping from PC1 to server. Ping PC1 to server. One seventy two dot twenty two dot sixty two. Okay, it's ping server. Yep, it's successful. Um, next is uh, FTP from PC1 to server, you, the username and password are both Cisco. Okay, let's go to FTP. FTP uh, server, all right, username Cisco, password Cisco. Okay, now we enter FTP, good. All right, so now we, uh, we exit FTP, exit, we use the quit. We use quit to exit FTP and then return back to PC, PC1. Okay, this is successful. Okay, so ping 
from PC1 to PC2, the destination host should be unreachable because ACL did not explicitly permit the traffic. The pin PC2, let's try the Okay, here, this number is PC2, 3498, okay. Yeah, so the destination is unreachable because the ACL we configured on R1 is only permit PC1 to server. So if we want to PC, ping PC1 to PC2 will be blocked here. The traffic will be blocked on R1. Yeah, we can we can try using the simulation mode. Okay, the package is from PC two. We pin PC uh PC one to PC two. Let's go to C the PC one to S one. This one to R one. Okay, R one denied this package. Okay, and uh, R one returned it back to S one. S one returned it back to PC one. Where did it come from? Here, it's destination unreachable. Yes. All right. So. Next, to configure and apply and verify an extended named ACL. The first we configure a number, now is we configure the named ACL. Step one, configure an ACL to permit HTTP access at ICMP from PC2 LAN, from PC2 LAN. Okay. Um, named ACL start with the IP keyword. Let's go to IP keyword from global configuration mode on R1, enter the following command followed by a question mark. Okay, IP start, it's a named, named ACL. Need to start, start with the IP keyword. Access list, space question mark. Okay, here, extended standard. Yeah, because uh, we are configuring the extended access list still, so we need to enter extended. All right. And yeah, you can configure name, the standard, and extended ACL. So this access list filters both source and the destination IP addresses. Therefore, it must be extended. Yeah, extended. We entered and enter the HTTP only as the name. So the name of the access list is called HTTP only for packet tracer scoring. The name is is case sensitive and the access list statements must be the correct order. So this is the name of ACL, right? So because it's case sensitive, so you should be careful. All these letters of this name are capital. Okay, so prompt the changes. Uh, you are now in extended named access list. So this is a prompt. Uh, named access configuration mode. All devices on the PC2 LAN need TCP access, need TCP access. So it's permit TCP, TC. TCP is then followed by the source, the source, this is network, source network. It's a PC2 LANs network address. Here, network address, 34.96. All right, so here, then space, question mark. Do you need to 
uh, after the network address, you need to, you need to enter the wildcard bits or the wildcard mask. So here, wildcard mask, the calculation. Look at the calculation. Subtract the subnet mask from two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five here. So twenty slash twenty eight. The subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five two forty. This is the subnet mask of slash twenty eight. So the wildcard mask is zero dot zero dot zero dot fifteen. Okay, followed by the wildcard mask, 0, 0, 0, 15. All right. So finish the statement by specifying the server address as you did in part one and filtering www traffic. All right, so destination address is the server, well, the host host with the host keywords followed by the server's IP address. Okay, EQ, here's the EQ, www, EQ, www, www is uh, the port keyword of HTTP. All right, so this is the first statement. Let's create a second access list statement to permit ICMP traffic from PC2 to server. Note the prompt chain remains the same. And the specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. Permit, uh, permit to ICMP. This is the PC2 LAN. This uh, server guy okay, here. And all other traffic is denied by default. Exit extended name named ACL configuration mode. Okay, execute the show access list command and verify the access list HTTP only contains the correct statement. Okay. So access list. Okay, so from here, we can see we configured two access lists. One is a numbered, the numbered 100 extended access list. One is named extended access list. Yeah, the number one permit TCP, FTP from PC1 to server, ICMP from PC1 to server. The named, the named ACL permit uh, WW, HTTP from PC2 to server, ICMP from PC2 to server, okay. So now we apply the ACL on the correct interface to filter traffic. So from our one's perspective, the traffic that access uh, this HTTP only applies to is inbound from the network connected to the gigabit ethernet 01, 01 interface. Enter interface configuration mode and apply the ACL. Okay, so the, on the actual operational network, it is not a good practice to apply an untested access list to an, in, to an active interface. It should be avoided if possible. So this HTTP only is from filter PC2 to server. So PC2 is a source, server is destination. The direction is from PC2 to server. So this interface G01 is supposed to be the inbound, inbound interface. Okay, let's go to 
terminal interface G01 IP access group HTTP in. Okay, HTTP only, that's the name of the ACL in is inbound. Okay. All right, so verify the ACL implementation, ping PC2 to server. Ping PC2 to server. Server 172. Yeah, successful. Good. And from PC2, open a web browser and enter the IP address of the server. The web page of the server should be displayed. We open the web browser is here, web browser. Enter server's IP address 172.22.34. Right, go. Yeah, very successful. Welcome to Cisco Package Research. We need to go to new opportunity. Yeah, here is. It's successful. So we can from PC2 to HTTP to server. Uh, FTP from PC2 to server. If FTP from PC2 to server. Mm -hmm. The connection should be failed. Yes, of course. If not, troubleshoot to the access list uh, statements and uh, the access group or configuration on the interface. So PC2, FTP to server. Because, you know, the, the ACL we configured on R1 only permit the FTP traffic from PC1 to server, not PC2. So let's try. Um, ping FTP 172.22.62. Fail, will be fail, of course, will be fail. Is connecting from FTP server. All right, so we're done. The completion status is 100%. So we are successful. Okay, so we're done for this pack tracer. Uh, configure extended ACLs uh, scenario one. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video and think it's helpful for you, please thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe my channel. See you next time.